Okay gang, welcome back. We're going to be doing a video on some uh, troop formations. But all my troops are dead from the new road, so we're going to have to go ahead and uh, speed this bad boy up. Boom. Chakalaka. 24 million power back in stock. So now we're going to be doing a troop formation video for about 250,000 troops. Um, So, honestly, like right here, this is a march set up for 250,000 troops. Um, this is, you know, a pretty standard one that I usually do. Um, let's go back and let's reset that, make sure that looks right. Yeah, so 250,000 troops or so. We're doing about equal numbers of our top two tier troops uh, for infantry and cavalry. And then we're going to have a slightly higher number of distance, so about 50,000 troops of our highest tier distance. Um, our second tier distance is going to be about equal to what we're utilizing for our top tier infantry and cavalry. This way we get a nice good spread um, of all of our benefits while primarily focusing on our higher tier troops. You'll notice that this is about 30,000. That's where we should be looking at 30,000 for our highest tier troop and about 20,000 for our second tier troop. Um, moving down you'll notice that we still have a good amount of troops per the rest of the tiers, but the lower we get, you know, the less we're utilizing. This is more of just a fodder. Our higher tier troops are giving us benefits against different facets. So like our distant troops, one type will be giving us a bonus against cavalry, while another tier gives us, another type gives us a bonus against our infantry. And the same for cavalry and the same for infantry, where you have multiple different types of troops within each different type. So there's two different types within infantry, there's two different types within cavalry, and there's two different types within distance. You want to utilize a nice good spread of that to keep all your troop up, your troops sir, alive because in the end of the day um, the more benefits you can get, you know, the better off you're going to be. Now the reason you will notice that we'll be utilizing a higher amount of our higher tier troops rather than even across the two different types is because the higher tier troop generally has higher baseline stats. Let's go ahead and take a look at what those higher baseline stats look like and what that really means for us. So looking at T11 uh, cavalry, we'll have 6 health, 11 attack, 9 defense. So with our T10s, we're going down in health, we're going down in attack, and we're going down in defense. So what this really means for us is that we're going to have a stronger baseline for our higher tier troops. And when you have the same number stat, let's say we're increasing at 100%, 100%, let's say that brings this up to 500 for health, but we're going to have a 600 health on our T11s. So it just makes a lot more sense. We're getting a lot more benefit out of our higher tier troops with our higher um, baseline stats, but we're not getting that spread. So that's why you have to utilize a nice little differentiation between your different t uh, types of troops. Um, so you can, you know, play around with it, see what works best for you. Um, but it, it really does require you to have a good spread down the tiers of troops because the lower tiers are going to be standing in front of your higher tier troops. So if you spread it out, you have two different types. So we have the heavy and we have the light. But the weaker light are going to stand in front of the he stronger light. And then you're going to have the heavy standing behind the light. So you're going to have the weaker light standing in front of the light. Oh, uh, the weak, the stronger light. The stronger, heavier, sorry. So let's say T1 is um, light, and we have T10 is light, and then we have T2 as heavy and T11 uh, as heavy. So we're going to have being T1, T10, T2, T11. So those lower tiers are going to be standing in front and they're going to die first for your higher tier troops. This keeps your cost of healing down, keeps your higher tier troops alive, allows them to continue the good fight for longer. So that's why I recommend that your march setup looks like what I have going on. If you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I've got a whole bunch of different videos for troop formations. Um, this one is more, you know, straight to the point compared to 
my other videos which is giving more hypothesis behind all the reasoning so that's all I have for this video I hope this helps everyone with what they were looking trying to look to do um, again if you ever have any questions don't hesitate to ask this is Captain Cowboy thank you all for watching